Hello everybody, it's your boy N here. I'm coming at you guys with another YouTube video. This title is not clickbait. The Helios can armor strip absolutely everything in the game and destroy everything in the game too. So first of all, massive shout out to my boy Cosmic Delirium. And as you can see from here on screen right now, the enemy is shooting at Helios and Helios is shooting back, armor stripping a level 150 enemy and literally taking this enemy out which is insane so let's get on into the config real quick and i'm going to show you why this is just so so broken like have a look at this it's just it's criminal this gameplay the fact that a sentinel can take on level 150 scratch that a sentinel takes on level cap is truly insane and this just goes to show you how broken this rework is so before i get into the config have a look at this we are literally Zaku, we are not using the guns, and as you can see, all of these XMI are armor stripped. Oh, sorry, not XMI, heavy gunners are just stripped. The Helios is destroying them for absolutely zero reason. So let's have a look at the config. So guys, as you can see here, Primed Regen, Restorative Bond, Primed Animal Instinct, Vicious Bond, Assault Mode, Vacuum, Synth Deconstruct, Accelerated Deflection, Duplex Bond, and Investigator is the reason this is so broken. Now let me put this into context for you real quick. First of all, we have Assault Mode, so the Sentinel will begin attacking all the enemies visible within 30 meters. Now we got Duplex Bond, so the Companion will clone itself each time you spend 100 energy, and up to three clones, they live for 30 seconds, and they can't use abilities. So if you spam your abilities, they will appear. They also have 50% chance of dropping energy orbs, which with equilibrium is going to work in perfection. Now Prime Reach on the Deconstructor, because that does count as a melee weapon, is going to give it even, even more range, which will just make the Deconstructor even more powerful. Prime Regen being on your Sentinel is going to make him come back to life even faster and make him invulnerable for tens of seconds, which is just going to make the Sentinel itself even more reliable going into higher level. Quick Return being on the Deconstructor is just going to make it shoot more ammo faster, which is not a problem. Sentinel run never runs out of ammo, but it's just going to make it bounce less and that is just going to make it do even, even more damage and cause more chaos. Restorative Bond being on your Sentinel is going to restore 60% more health and reduce the recovery on the Companion. Now, this is also going to work with Equilibrium. When your Sentinel picks up health, it is also going to pick up the health and make your Warframe recover health. And with Equilibrium, that's also energy. Shattering Impact is going to reduce enemy armor by 6. That is going to work hand in hand with Vicious Bond. Companion melee attacks strip 15% of enemy armor and enemies damaged by abilities have a chance to spread them to other enemies within a 9 meter radius. Now if you're using Nourish, this is going to work perfectly. Synth Deconstruct is going to work perfectly with Restorative Bond which is going to make the enemies have a chance to drop. Health orbs, which is going to give you your health back, which in turn is going to give you your energy back. So this is a very viable option. As if the status wasn't enough, Spring Loaded Blade will throw more range on to your melee weapon, which is the Deconstructor, every time it procs status, which is absolutely nutty. And the final mod of note is Whirlwind, which is just more projectile speed, meaning this is going to happen 3-4 times as fast as anything else in the game. Now looking at this gameplay should make a little bit more sense, because you can see the Helios going absolutely crazy up against this heavy gunner. So if we were to gun up with Zaku, this would be the result. We're not even going to press anything, the Helios armor strips and the guns take the enemies out within an instant. Now, let me spawn 20 of them and show you what happens when we spawn 20 of them instead of 1. Same story, we're just going to use the 4th and Helios takes over, give him a second and he starts armor stripping everything and then Zaku's guns take it from there. Now this is the config you're going to want to run on Deconstructor, Vicious Frost, Virulent Scourge, Volatic Strike, Spring Loaded Blade, Quick Return, Prime Reach, Whirlwind, and Shattering Impact. Now, as you can see over here, it does proc Viral and Electric. Now, this is ideal for a Primer, and this will also make the Deconstructor capable of late gameplay. 
Now bear in mind a lot of these mods aren't even at max level so due to a former shortage my boy could not max everything out but if it was all maxed out it would just make this build even even more effective. Now there is another way to make this do even more damage right off the bat. Now that is by replacing Prime Reach with Condition Overlord. Now Condition Overlord is just going to make it do a ton more direct damage on status so as you can see here it's just melting them like it's absolutely no one's business and considering this is a sentinel this just goes to show how this is so broken now i can see people in the comments already asking wow this is broken is this going to get nerfed and my opinion on this is no this is not going to get nerfed in the slightest now this is because these bond mods were designed around this rework for the sentinels and for the companions now these mods were made with the intent of being used of course and this is just us using them and pushing them to their absolute limits so guys i'm going to run into level cap now and i'm going to show you how this fares up against level 9999 enemies now guys we are at level cap so let's just get this exerciser real quick and as you guys can see here, the Thrax has spawned. Give it a second, move out of the way, and the Thrax's armor is absolutely gone, making him easy as hell to kill. Again, over here, we are getting another Exalizer. Give it a second, let the Thrax spawn, let him hit his attack, and his armor is gone, and he is dead. Now, the one thing that is insanely neat about these Sentinels is that if you have a ability that affects your teammates, for example, Nourish, or raw that would also affect the sentinel giving the sentinel a boost wisps morts would also give the sentinels a fire rate boost so you know how this is stupid broken effective and insane and another very amazing thing about this is the fact that now going up to level cap we have a legitimate option to take with us to make the mission significantly easier i'm not hesitating to say this i do believe this sentinel config will absolutely change the way that people play level cap for the foreseeable future because you can just see how this is working right now give it a sec sentinel goes at it and armor's gone even at level cap it makes the game stupid easy this is a sentinel at its absolute peak and this is destroying the warframe mechanics and showing you how goddamn broken these sentinels are and how amazing this rework is for the companions this gameplay really does speak for itself and I don't even need to point out that Zaku is broken in general but using this sentinel with him or with a lot of other frames can make you as a player have such ease pushing to any heights you want. If this works at level cap this will work at quite literally any other point in the game. As you can see on screen here, we ran 172 exercises without a single problem within this game. Now the rewards from this level cap are honestly juicy. I cannot believe that we got this many arcanes. I mean, this is why you run arcane with a mod drop chance booster. Anyway guys, that has been this video showcasing the Sentinel. This is truly broken and I completely recommend and urge you guys to push towards this and try this config. But anyway guys, that's been this video. Link to my Discord and my Patreon are in the description. Please do check that out. If you want to see me push any more mechanics of this game, please leave it in the comment. But other than that, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!